Hey guys, Christian Soto here for RedShirtPoker.com and this is a little bit of bonus footage for you guys. So there's going to be a video released called Venus vs. Mars. That has two videos in it, two part series. However, the two hands in this video that you're going to see did not make the cut. So instead of throwing it out, I decided to release it to you guys for free. Um, so if you guys have any thoughts, let me know. The reason it's called Venus vs. Mars is because in this discussion, it's me and Gazelic. And Gazelic has an MTT background. I have a cash background. So obviously, those are two completely different worlds. However, we're analyzing this footage of MTT. So you get to analyze it through my eyes, get to see what his thoughts are. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy it. If you guys have any thoughts, let me know. But with that said, peace. Um, okay, so another ace queen hand. Definitely want to squeeze here. Um, mm -hmm. I think I just maybe go a little bit too big. And then I like, we've got like this... 1900. Okay, so I went. Are you ready? <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> so I was thinking, like, versus uh... one guy, I'm going to three bet to like 17, 1800. So I'm just going to put the extra bet in there. Um, but then, yeah, it just felt like I don't expect anyone to jam over this as a bluff, which means. No, never, never. So then, but, but then I, I you know, go, makes it easier to, could, to go ahead and fold. I think you could make it like two thousand. Um, okay. I think like you know, making it like three x is fine. You know, like anywhere between like you know, nineteen hundred, two thousand is fine. I think like twenty five hundred is like pretty big though. Um, yeah, but that, yeah. What, what were you saying about them jamming? I think if we never perceive them to be four bet jamming light in this spot than ace queen it, we we kind of set it up so that it's a really easy fold versus a jam but again we're in that situation where we like the other ace queen where it's kind of you yeah, know, I mean, don't want to fold you, don't want to fold uh sort of a, a hand as yeah, but this, queen. Is, this is a spot where like you definitely need to three bet though because you're out of position and the big blind incentivized to call if you just call so yeah I think in this spot you're incentivized to three bet, even if you're gonna jam, even if you're gonna fold versus the jam. So they have forty bigs or so, like me a little over forty bigs, like forty five or something like that. That's like way too many bigs to get it in these queen and like in general. So yeah. unless you're like knowing that this guy's a spaz, like you should just be folding. However, I still think that three bet is really good. Um you're also gonna get called like if you would have made it slightly smaller, like you're gonna get called by worse just because they're in position. So um I think yeah. that the three bet is still pretty good. I would have made it something a little smaller, but I still think the three bet itself is going to be good. If uh villain forty six folded, what would be your sizing then to three bet from, from the small blind? I would have made it like eighteen fifty. I still think the full three X from out of position is still okay. Okay, but when there's a flat, when we're squeezing, just you know, a tiny, just a tiny bit more. Just like add a little bit more, like two thousand would have probably been fine. You know? Yeah. Okay. All right, that sounds good. And yeah, they're both folded. So. Yeah. That's fine. I like I like um, they fold too. Okay. Raising ace ten here, get flooded by the big blind. And pretty, pretty standard check check spot. Good. That's what I did. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, on a the pretty, turn, that's a pretty bad turn card for you. Yeah, well, so this is kind of what went through my mind. I think there's there are a ton of hands that we can get value from here, but we never have king queen for checking back this flop. I don't think unless we'd like, are we ever going to check back king queen of diamonds. I think it's unlikely. Yeah, so, I agree. So, so I feel like he can put us in a really gross spot with a ton of hands here. At the same time. At the same time, level. he has a lot of bluffs. Level. He still has a lot of bluffs, and all his 8x is going to bluff, all his queen x is going to bluff. So, I mean, it's a spot where like we're going to be calling down a little bit too. Yeah, I just so he he went and checked, and then so I was thinking that if we bet here, uh, is he? Oh, I see. I don't think yeah, we I we, think we obviously check. can't. Okay, that's that's cool. So that's uh, and that's that's what I did, but it just made me think that there were so many hands that we could get value from on the turn. Yeah, there is like so. Yeah, you're right about the fact that he could definitely put you in the cage because like 
you don't have that many good hands yet. So no. um, that's why I think checking is good. I think that it's, I think if you bet, it would be like an exploitative bet where you understand that he's never capable of check raising. Yeah. Ever. So if you have a guy that's just like, you know, V pipping like 41 five, then yeah, I mean, we might, yeah. we might even bet the flop, right? So it's like, yeah. It, it, but if we do check back, we're definitely betting the turn just like for value and protection. But if the better they get, the more like you have to understand that you kept your range on the flop and you never have a king queen in here and they could still have a king queen. So, yeah. you know, betting this turn is going to be a disaster in the face of check, you know, because he could still turn all like queen x into a bluff, all 8x into a bluff, all diamonds into a bluff. So, like, yeah. I think checking back is just really good. Um, Okay, well, that's what I did. So um, I'm glad we're, we're on the same page on this hand so far. He checks again, and then I think it's a clear bet. But I, again, I think that, yeah, again, like you said, if he is the guy, kind of guy that's just going to call too much in this spot and he's never going to bluff in this spot, then I think it's a really easy value bet. Um, but do you I think mean, we ever like, like, no open ourselves up? There's like no way he's raising this room. He just checked three times. No, this guy's not Tom Wall. <laughs> so, I mean, I think you should okay. bet here. So now the question would be like, do you have a lot of bluffs here? I don't think so. Because I think all your bluffs would bet the flop. Like a lot of ace kings and ace queens probably yeah. would just be betting on an earlier street. So I think you should bet something like 650. Something like that, trying to get value from like 10 you know, 9x, something like that. Yeah. Okay. So, um, 650. Yeah, I think that was, that was my target. I went, yeah, I went less, just under half pot, so maybe a little bit too big. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know if he calls with 9x to 900. He might. Um, but like, you're really targeting hands like Queen 10. I mean, I think he calls Queen 10 like to 900, probably. Yeah. Um, so, so yeah, if we just want I to get think, a few more calls here, we just size it a little bit smaller. Yeah, yeah. Just because I, I think he has a really bad hand. Like if you really look at his range, like hands that check three yeah. times here are not gonna be strong hands. So it's like no. I think you're just trying to get a cry call from like even like six X or something that just thinks that you have nothing. So you know, I think you're like yeah. trying to get a call from like ten eight and then like nine X. So okay. I think like six fifty is probably good. Wow, he calls. Okay, I think we're winning. Oh uh, yeah, I like it. Perfect. Cool. Yeah. Good. All right, next spot. This guy raises and I like a three bit here for sure. So how many bigs I does he have? Oh he has twenty bigs. Uh so no, like he has uh twenty four. Twenty four, yeah, twenty five. Like so, so I just I think like it, it like with the ace blocker puts him in a pretty tough spot. Mm -hmm. Um I think I like sizing, what do you think of that? I like your sizing. I think you could even go a little bit, even even a little smaller against this kind of a stack size. You could probably get away with like 21, you know, and like, because he's just going to, he's just going to jam or fold. There's no way he's calling um, out of a 20 big, 20 ish big stack. Like a lot of his range is going to be uh, jam or fold. And, you know, if you think he is going to call more often, then I like your sizing even, even more because this, this incentivizes him from calling at all. So, yeah, I like it. Okay. And he just folded. Yeah. So, uh, just thought, yeah, I think you could save, I think you could save like, you know, half a big or so. Like, I think you could probably make it like 21, like, and just like, okay. you know, and just nitpicking, you know. <laughs> like, okay. Little, no, that's yeah, good. That's so, good. I like it. 